In this video, I will show you some of the best next-gen GTA Online settings you can have. These settings could vary for each of you watching this video, so I would recommend you tweak and change them to your preference to get the best result. So of course guys, to find the settings tab, you will have to be in a GTA Online session, but I would suggest going into the Rockstar Creator or even Story Mode. And this will be because we can change the targeting mode. For some reason, we can still not do this in GTA Online. I just loaded into the Rockstar Creator and you guys can see in the controls tab, I can now have the option to change the targeting mode. Most of the time in GTA Online to make it really easy for myself, I just play an assisted M full. If I do any missions in GTA Online, or even any survivals this just makes it so easy but if you guys wanted to play in the free aim lobbies and really challenge yourself this is where you can change this i will be going over these settings very quickly but just before i do you guys have an additional setting that you guys can only change in a gta online session and this will be the new sprint mode setting that was recently added into gta online i would recommend that you guys mess around with this and try either option if you guys hate spamming the sprint button all the time i would definitely recommend changing it to hold to sprint and now i will move back over to the creator mode so for the vibration on your controller i always turn this off I do this with pretty much any game I play, but I have to admit the vibration in GTA Online especially is very good. It can make you feel really immersed into the game. For example, if a car explodes close to you, you will feel that explosion on your controller. This is one of them settings that is really up to you and your personal preference. And the same thing is with the next setting called Invert Look. I know that some people do play this, so this is where you guys can actually change it. Personally, I have never played Inverted, so by default, I have this setting turned off. Two settings that you guys definitely want to try out are the third person control type and the first person control type. If you guys set these to standard FPS 2, essentially the main thing it will change is where your sprint button is located. So instead of you guys pressing the A button on Xbox or the X button on PlayStation, it will make the sprint button your right bumper. And for those of you guys who are probably wondering what is the advantage of doing that, essentially you guys do not have to move your thumb from your thumb stick. So let's say that you guys are in a PvP situation and you sort of need to sprint somewhere, whilst also potentially aiming, or even just looking around and checking your surroundings, that will be much easier to do with the standard FPS 2 settings on. Definitely give them a try at the very least. But moving on from this guys, we do have some sensitivities. Now you can go ahead and copy my ones if you want to, but for the most part, sensitivities are really down to you. It can also come down to what controller you guys play on as well. Some of you guys might have really bad stick drift. And if you guys do have bad stick drift, I would definitely recommend messing around with the look dead zones. If you do have a lot of stick drift, I would set this higher. Both of these dead zones are only for the right stick. And to perfectly find the right dead zone for you, I would set them both to zero or nothing. Head into a GTA online session or even story mode and then slightly push your right stick to look around. If your character is still looking around without you even touching the stick, you just want to come back into these settings and up your dead zone. For the look acceleration, I really just kept these default. I didn't really mess with these too much. Once again, this is something that you can experiment with, but by far one of the most important settings you will need to change is the allow movement when zoomed. You guys need to make sure that this is turned on and this will of course allow you guys to move your character whilst you guys are using a sniper or something with a scope. Underneath this setting, we also also have the switch handbrake with duck or hydraulics. I like to turn this on because it reminds me of the very old times on the old Xbox, where instead of pressing the A button to duck, you guys will just use your handbrake instead. I'm sure a lot of you guys probably got used to that as well, so this is where you would change that setting. And finally for the control section, we have the drive-by control type. I believe I have this just set to the default option, which is aim plus fire. This will just give me more control. I can just aim at my gun in a car. And then if I want to shoot it, I will just press the shoot button. To quickly run through all of the other settings, for the audio settings, you guys can copy these if you want. I of course have the music volume turned all the way down. Of course, there is a lot of copyrighted songs in GTA Online. And by turning the music volume all the way down, this pretty much gets rid of all of the radio songs, which is definitely a shame because I like so many of them songs but now guys moving over to the camera settings you can obviously copy these if you want to i will quickly run through them now 
allow independent camera modes I like to keep off, the vehicle camera height I keep on high, for the first person auto level camera I have this on, for first person on foot field of view I max this all the way out, for first person ragdoll I have this off, first person combat roll off, first person head bobbing off, first person third person cover on, first person vehicle auto center on, first person vehicle hood off, and finally first person drive by camera relative to vehicle on. In the display tab we actually have a next gen setting finally and this really comes down to which console you guys play on. I currently play on the Xbox Series S console and you can see I only have two options which is very limited. If any of you guys play on the Xbox Series S console as well I would highly recommend that you guys put this on performance mode. If you do play on fidelity you will notice the game is very laggy and I also believe that this will set it to 30 fps. And for those of you guys who are on the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5, I believe that there is a performance ray tracing option. I have heard that this will be the best one, but this will be something that you guys can just try out for yourself and see which one you prefer. And like before, to quickly run over these settings, for the radar you want this on, for the hood or the heads up display you want this on also. The weapon target is either simple or complex, it's really down to you. The GPS route on, expanded radar off. Player overhead display, this is really personal preference again. The brightness is once again personal preference. The safe zone size really depends on which monitor or TV you play on. Motion blur strength, I like to keep this off. In-game depth of field effects, I like to put this on when I'm using the Rockstar editor, but for the most part, I have this turned off. Screen kill effects, I keep on. Subtitles, I like to use subtitles, so I put this on here. And then the measurement system is really what you prefer again. Now that we have gone through that, we have the notifications tab. This is very straightforward. I just put all of these settings on and set the message frequency to one hour. This will most of the time prevent you guys from getting spammed by different people. For example, LJT for your various businesses and the final tab which is called the Rockstar Editor. I just have these settings set. So definitely give these settings a try if you have not done this yet. I think by far the biggest setting is the standard FPS 2. If you guys have never used this before you will notice how good it is. It will definitely feel unnatural at first but once you get used to this control type you will have no problem and it will be much easier to use. But anyways guys that will be everything for this GTA Online video. Hopefully it did help some of you guys out. If this video did help you out in any way shape or form make sure to leave a like i really appreciate your support and if you are new to the channel and like what you see make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video finally guys stay safe thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one